guys in this video we're going to learn about how to use URL loaders uh, in case if you want to go ahead and use an image in your project then you definitely need loader for that because JavaScript sorry webpack understands JavaScript and we need to convert that into some kind of a base64 format or a URL in order for us to go ahead and use those images uh, into a bundled file right so how do we do it we can use the URL loaders we have already discussed what loaders are in the previous video so this vid uh, this video is basically uh, for those who want to use an image uh, with a webpack bundle file okay so let's do this uh, we've already got the pro project set up as I've explained in the previous videos what we're gonna do is we'll just do npm install save it as dependency using dflag and install the URL loader okay and then we'll go to our configuration file webpack.config.js and we're gonna add that so let's take this okay I'm gonna go get rid of this it, we don't need it okay so let's add this uh, what's going on here okay I'm missing something this one. okay great so what this means is that add this loader uh, add these rules so it's going to look for any file that starts with PNG uh, JPEG okay SVG so this is just regular expression it's going to look for the file with these extensions if it finds one then it's going to use the URL loader okay and by providing option it means that uh, if we have any files or images that are uh, you know bigger than the fi bigger than 5000 bytes then go ahead and create uh, an image in the disk folder and just give us the source for that which we can include uh, into our image okay it means that okay so let's try it I'm just gonna delete these files we don't need them for now okay so what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and put an image into our source, source directory let me see if I have one so I'll go to my pictures yep I've got this icon so I'm gonna place that here okay and I'll go to my index.js and just import icon sorry uh, I'll say icon from icon.jpg okay and let's console see what we get inside of this icon okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the npm run prod because I want to see what's happening what's going on over here clear npm run prod okay so it's running webpack okay there's some error what is the error cannot find module file loader okay let me see so guys it appears that we need file loader as well so let's install that npm install dev dependency file loader So because it's a file, I think we need file loader as well. Okay, so let's try that. So let's run npm run prod. Great. So you can see what this has done is this has created a hashed file. Okay, so the name is now this hash.jpg, right? And if you check the this folder, it's created this image in the hashed file, right? Why? Because the size of the image is larger. It's uh, more than five, 5,000 bytes. It's like 165 kilobyte. That is the reason why, because we put that in the option, the limit is this. If, if it's higher or bigger, then go ahead and create a hashed file and uh, go ahead and give me the source of that. So if I now run npm run dev, and I want to see what's inside of this icon what do I get in console okay so let's do that let's refresh it inspect element and you can see that it's giving me this path basically right 
okay so which means that I can go ahead and create an image now so what I'm going to do is I'll just create a JavaScript file um, let's say I'll name it as create image okay I will create a function called create or I would say return or get image I'll name it as get image okay that'll be better so it's going to take a source and I'm going to create an element const image is equal to document dot create element what is it saying expected this okay right create image and we'll put image it's going to create an image tag and then image dot source is equal to source whatever source we're going to get from here okay I'll just name it as image source so that we don't get confused okay and then we just okay yeah and then we just return this image okay so what this function is going to do is basically take an image source create an image element and then uh, add the source whatever has been received over here to that image tag and return that image okay so let's import this file import create okay we need to do export default I think then export const actually export const yeah okay import create image from create image okay and uh, in fact now I can call this function create image and pass icon into it and store it as my image and we just can append this image beneath okay so my image sorry document dot body dot append child my image so this created image should be appended here let's try that okay you can see now this image is here of course the size of this image is quite big we can reduce it by going ahead and setting up some size for it so we can just say image dot height is equal to 300 pixels and image dot width is equal to 300 let's try that sure enough now the image is small great guys so you can see now that how this thing is working okay uh, let's try it with a smaller image now okay so let me see if I've got a smaller image how big this is or we can just increase the uh, limit over there and instead of using a different image size so let's go and increase it like super big and let's try it now what happens so you can see it still works right but what do we get inside of this icon now do we get this uh, of course we'll delete this because this was created earlier what do we get let's see okay because we've changed something we have to and do npm run dev again okay, let's okay great now you can see it's got something different well it looks like data image base 64 so this time it's actually a base 64 image which is good because if it's a small size image or the limit that we are setting basically then it's okay to have it as uh, you know base 64 image it's not going to be too big in fact it is too big because the image is large okay uh, so it is better when we have small image to have a base 64 otherwise you're going to get so large uh, you know 
you can see there is 214623 more which means it's too big actually it's, it's really big okay so that's a large amount of data that we are putting into the source of our image if we check the source of the image you can see it's, it's too big it's absolutely humongous okay so it's not a good practice uh, to use base64 image in your source if you are going to be using such a large image that's why we set a limit over here okay so if it's 500 byte and uh, smaller then go ahead and create a base64 image and this is going to give me the base64 uh, data which we which I can then add that as a source so we are adding that as a source over here like this okay and uh, if it's larger than 500 bytes then just go ahead and create uh, the uh, hashed image and just give me the source for that which uh, it had done earlier so let's close this let me just show that to you in action so if you run npm run prod okay so now it's created this hash why because we've set the limit to 500 megabytes uh, 500 bytes actually if I go ahead and again increase the limit so and now if I run npm run prod you will observe that it won't actually create the image as hashed image over here it would just give us the uh, base 64 data uh, in the in the image again okay, so let's see see it's not created one okay guys so what will be the case our job is done is because whether it's a base 64 image or it's giving us the source uh, of that particular image by creating one in the disk directory we are getting the source here all we have to do is just append it to the image element which we are doing over here when it's passed okay guys so I hope that is clear you understand now how to include your images into your uh, project webpack project uh, okay and uh, how to convert that as well using the um, loader you are loader and the file loader okay so I hope you guys did like the video if you did uh, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, you can comment if you have any questions you can follow me on medium I write a lot of blogs about you know how these things are done and uh, and follow me on Twitter as well okay guys thank you so much take care bye bye